Colonel Andrew Ferrer, Ranger and Airline Crew, this is the captain. It's day September 28th, February. I'm going off the pad at this time, led by the Tank Commander 155. It's a strike of six A-60s, carrying 12 Mark 32s and 12 Rock IEs. We're going off tanks and artillery. This strike is significant when it leaves this step. An hour ago, the President appeared on national TV and announced that two fire was to go into effect at midnight, Eastern Standard Time. That's the 800 this morning, local. The aircraft is launching off the cat right now with the last strike that will be flown in this war called Operation Desert Storm. At 01 30, 17 January, we launched strikes into Iraq. It was the very first part of that Operation Desert Storm. Today, as we launch, we're going to be launching the very, very last strike, if not the last strike of our conflict. Throughout the last six weeks, Ranger and Air Wing 2 have stood very tall, stood out in front of everything we did. We said that we would make a measurable difference in this war, and believe me, I think we have. Over 100 boats have been sunk, one helicopter shot down, and in the of 4,200,000 pounds of ordnance have been placed on target in Iraq and Kuwait. So, as we wind down the campaign as part of the ceasefire, and we all pray and hope that the ceasefire holds, we certainly hope also for the safe diplomatic conclusion of this war. We also hope for the safe return of all the prisoners of war. We pray and we remember those who were lost. That being those who died in support of our nation, to include Lieutenant Tom Cox and Lieutenant Charlie Turner, who will not be coming back with us. So, on behalf of the Admiral, and the tag and myself, each one of you guys in the last six weeks of absolutely magnificent work. Well done. That is all.